Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rabina of Sincerely Mrs. Griffin and welcome to my life. Today we're just doing some stuff around the house. I went and I did a little bit of thrifting. I actually have some stuff I need to take to the thrift store. What I like to do to um, keep my house more minimal is I keep a either a box or a bag. This month it happens to be a box. So I have a box near the front door and I've just been tossing stuff into it throughout the month of January and that stuff that needs to go to the thrift store. So right now I'm just sitting outside on the patio um, because it is such a nice day here in Northwest Florida and I thought I would just film a little bit today so that you could see what I am doing in my day. I have one tree that I need to transplant because it's split off three ways. So I'm gonna try to take off two of the smaller plants and repot them so they can grow on their own. I have my big shears today and I'm going to trim my lemon tree that's in the ground because it has some spots that are dying a little bit so I just want to trim it back. Since that portion was the newest, it wasn't as hardy to survive the frost of the cold nights here in Northwest Florida. So I've got to go out there and trim I think I am done trimming this tree for now. Hopefully we won't have any more problems and it will continue to flourish. Let me show you, let me show you that little baby lemon that I found. Look at this. The last one of the, I guess it would be the 2020 lemon season because citrus produces in the winter is when things ripen up and when you can pick them so there's that and this year we're going to do a garden so you guys will see us getting our garden together right now all I have in here is a blueberry plant it's right here and my dog likes to dig in the garden so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to keep him out of the garden. So if you guys have ideas of how to keep your pets out of the garden, let me know. This is my fiddle leaf plant that I was gonna repot. I'm taking this little one out and this one out and I'm gonna repot them. And I know it looks they look sad because I've been forgetting to water it. Those three plants and these three little pots but this is my first time doing this. Hopefully they don't die. Grab some roots, yes. please. Okay, two more. So here's one fiddle leaf and here's another one and I guess we'll find out in a few weeks if everything's okay or not. I'm gonna put them in the sun and start watering them. Plans changed a little bit and I am going to the booth to set up the items that I have that are going to be like the shelving units type things. The just few pieces that I have where things are gonna sit on. I wanna take them there and see how it will look so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pack up the car and take some things in just to see how it will look in the booth. So I came back over to the booth today to check it out and also to bring some larger pieces to see how everything would fit in here with my biggest piece, which is gonna be my shelf that's gonna sit in the back. 
and um, just wanted to check out the space and see how things would be positioned in here. So this is the booth so far. I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see. We did go to the Merchantile. We took the two coffee tables that you saw, the two green ones. But when I put the coffee tables in, they took up too much room in the booth so that when people would like enter the booth, I didn't think they would be able to walk around easily. Plus that peg wall on the left-hand side where you saw the one coffee table sitting is going to be utilized for hanging items. So I just decided to leave one coffee table there so I could sit some items on it. I also left a picture frame that I did um, on my computer that has QR codes so that people could scan them and get to my social medias, which if you're not following me on other social media, I am on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and I'll have everything linked down, down below. So what we're gonna do this week is there was a little mix up with my shelf unit coming shelving unit coming in from Amazon. I actually had to cancel the order and ask for a refund because I ordered it at the beginning of January and it still isn't here and I'm a week before the booth opens and I need that shelf. So I think what I'm going to do either I'm going to have to a look on Amazon Prime and try and get a shelving unit here in 2 days or buy it local at like Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart somewhere or maybe secondhand thrift it and see if I can find a bookshelf. I definitely need something to take up that back wall since it is so open for my items that are gonna be stackable. But I am very excited so stay tuned for the next video because I'm pretty sure in my next vlog I'll talk about setting up the booth and I'll have the camera there. I plan to just bring my tripod and, and set it, set the camera down so that you guys can see how I'm setting up the booth. Um, I'm still working this week to tag items. That's my big thing that I need to do this week is get items price tagged and getting that shelf. That is a big, big, big thing. Um, so stay tuned for that and I love you guys and if you want to subscribe to my channel to see more content of how I'm opening up this very small business of having an antique booth and see how I'm doing. I plan on doing updates when I get my first check because I get paid every month at the booth and then so I'll do an update like a one month update, two month update, three months in. So if you're interested in something like that and you're watching these videos, you can just watch me and see how I do. I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog and close it out here and tell you guys I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.